Today we will cover five points on how to network for building relationships in the NFT space. So if that's what interests you, then stay tuned. Hello friends and family and to all you beautiful people out there. It's Kimo here. I don't know why I'm doing this, but Kimo here. Let's get started. So my first point, number one, is know who you want to build relationships with. And once you've answered that question, then there are plenty of projects out there that I'm sure have that type of genre or types of people that you want to connect with. And your next step then is to go and join those discords and get to meet the people there or build friendships, get chatting and seeing, you know, if you can make friends with them, which leads on to my point number two. Once you are in those discords, make sure you join their voice chats or try talking to people there verbally because it's always easier to gauge with people and to get to know them through voice chats as opposed to just text because sometimes it's hard to interpret what they're trying to say. And that way you get to build a relationship faster, but also get to see if, you know, whatever they're interested in, if you are trying to sell them something, which I hope you're not because the intention here is to build relationships. Although in saying so, sometimes it's easier or people tend to fear the voice chats because you have to dox your voice, I guess. Ha 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 ha. But if you don't want to speak, that is okay. Usually they have channels for voice text. So if you are there, even just listening to people talk, you can always respond to them in these voice text channels so that you don't have to talk if you don't wish to. But it's always good to jump on in and get to know people that way. So tip number three was something that I found very useful. When I first started in the NFT space, I joined a Discord and I got to know a lot of people there and I went into voice chats and got to know people. One of the things that actually helped me build a lot of relationships with people that I'm still friends with today are the events that these discords have. So there was a lot of um, Gartic bot, there's karaoke nights, or sometimes they have stumble guys or Pictionary. And all these games really help you get to know other people well because it's almost like friendly competition but then it's almost like you then share a memory with these people that you can kind of laugh about and a lot of the times we we i say we as in myself and my friends that i've made from for example nft asia we used to call it the dungeon because that's where only a few of us always went to play games or chat or or um do karaoke and it's really really fun and then you start to get to know people again like much faster than you would if you were just tech space so if there are any events in discord do jump on in and get to know people and it's really fun it's a good way to you know meet people as well as be involved in the community that you're joining all right next point point four join twitter spaces so as much as i say discord is great twitter is the better option for meeting people new people and getting exposure and getting out there and so i say join why why join twitter spaces because you hear a lot of different different people speak and so they will talk about things that they're interested in and that might pique an interest in whatever you are looking to do and so if you are in these twitter spaces and you hear someone say something interesting or something that you are interested in learning more about that is a good opportunity for you to go into their dms which is direct messaging send them a private message and say hey so i heard you in um in this twitter spaces by xyz and what you talked about da -da 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 -da, was very interesting and thank you for sharing your thoughts or whatever it is or if you want to continue on a conversation hopefully uh, this person will respond and you can say so you know i was just wondering about this why this this you know a question basically you end the mail with a question so that it's like mm, do they respond or do they just kind of like it so if, if it's like an actionable dm then you can kind of start a conversation going with these people so that's another tip that is very useful because I've, I've used that a few times and it's been nice made some good friends from that and i guess last but not least point number five which is very commonsensical but it's very obvious that you know be authentic talk to people without an agenda get to know them and just be genuine if you go in and you go talking to people with the agenda of 
they are to buy my art. I'm going to sell them my art. I want to sell them this. They are to buy this. It's like you're you're going in with the intention of selling them something. They're going to feel it and they won't want to build any sort of relationship with you because can you imagine how many other people are doing the exactly the same thing? And so if someone had come to me and be like, hey, can you buy my art? Automatically, I'd just be like, close the door. I don't even want to respond to that. Or if someone just said, hey, heard you in Twitter spaces, you know, you're cool. Or not that, you know, please compliment me. But more so, they're just like, they just want to start a conversation. Then I would sometimes be like, oh, thank you so much. Um, hope you enjoyed it. You can definitely tell if someone has an agenda behind what they're saying. So always go at it with the pure intention of just wanting to build relationships. And then once you've built that relationship, then you can go further into whatever you hope to do. But you can't really get there until you form this base relationship first. So baby step, guys. Don't rush it. And I mean... You build a lot of friendship and then from those friendship, maybe they'll introduce you to people they know, you know? So it's like networking, it's dipping your fingers into lots of pies, but in a nice way, in a nice way. So best of luck with building relationships. And I hope that was of some use to you guys. And if you guys have any other points or tips that I haven't covered or that there's certain things that you guys would like me to cover, then do leave it in the comment below and I will read every single and until then, I'll catch you guys next time. Thanks for watching.